you may be wondering why I have this giant Disney t-shirt with me. As you can see, this is a one-size-fits-all t-shirt. Look very closely, you can see that it would never fit me. Now imagine that this same t-shirt represents the modern public school educational system. Anyone can fit in it, but it isn't the best fit for anyone, and it certainly wasn't the best fit for me. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez. Today, I'd like to walk you through my, my educational journey and hopefully leave you with some ideas on how you can make the most of public school by creating your own made-to-order education. So if the factory-style public school treadmill isn't a good fit, then what can you do? Of course, if you want to experience a truly tailored education, there is homeschooling. In addition to allowing more freedom of choice and autonomy, one of the best aspects of homeschooling is an increase in available time. School could potentially take four hours instead of eight, which opens the door to engaging learning ideas, time to bring out time to pursue personal projects, and time to socialize with others. When every minute of every day isn't tied down to a public school schedule, there's so much you can experience and accomplish, and most importantly, create. That sounds great, but for many, homeschooling simply isn't an option. For example, many parents may have time-consuming jobs, along with a myriad of other limitations or responsibilities, which leads to public school being the only viable option for education for their children. Which leads me to this question. What if we can create a new type of education tailored to you by using principles of homeschooling, but applicable to any type of education? Last year, I was in the eighth grade in public school heading about my daily life, worrying about grades, being stressed nearly all of the time. So there's so much to do and there's so little time to accomplish it. There seemed to be an endless cycle of worksheets, tests, and stress, with only time to memorize, regurgitate, and start again. I felt really dissatisfied with this because there were so many other topics I wanted to pursue, but I couldn't because there simply wasn't any time. So with my parents' blessing, I decided to try homeschooling in for the remainder of eighth grade. If I enjoyed it, I would continue on with it for the rest of high school. Homeschooling was a breath of fresh air for me. School had trained me to rely on the teacher for information and to be extremely complacent with his arbitrary rules and structures. With homeschooling, however, I was able to look up information for myself, pursue what interested me, and actually go to the bathroom without asking for teacher's permission. With homeschooling, I could go in depth with any topic I want to explore. If John Snow's cholera map of 1854 was interesting to me, then I can dedicate an entire day to learn about geospatial technologies and see how they relate to the modern world. I was able to participate in activities that I couldn't in regular school, like watch a soap opera for Spanish class, which are very effective since they're very overacted. I interned with a film industry professional to learn about editing tricks of the trade, among other fun activities that advanced my learning and widened my horizons in several subjects. While these things may seem small, these opportunities make learning interesting, relevant, and worthwhile. Not only can it help you learn more about a specific topic, but at least for me, it fuel my curiosity to find out more about this amazing world that we live in. I want to be clear though, this format isn't just for getting ahead if you're a gifted student. The ability to go at your own pace and learn in your own way is also great if you're lagging behind in a certain subject, be it mathematics, social studies, science, or whatever it is you're struggling with. You can take the time to figure it out with help from others until it clicks. For example, I was able to learn about chemistry from several different online teachers in order to understand specific concepts, so I finally got it. In regular public school, that would not be an option. There is no time. You would be heard along with everybody else with a teacher's explanation, possibly a worksheet, and you would be stuck with a shaky foundation and pushed forward to stay on schedule. Having the luxury of learning in your own way is a great aspect of homeschooling. But for me, the most important aspect of it was the time that I gained. I had a lot of freedom to pursue my personal interests at my own pace, once my real school work is completed, of course. Having always been limited to four core subjects and a handful of elective courses, it was really incredible to discover that I had to teach myself about anything I could possibly want to know or learn or just be a little curious about. Courses that seemed out of reach until junior or senior year of high school were actually very simple and easy to learn by connecting with others with the same interests, and of course, with the help of the internet. I personally have created and joined small communities of people interested in the same things that I am, regardless of their creation on the planet. If you're looking for someone to give you comments on your latest portrait of a cat, 
you can find them. If you're looking, find, want to find people that like that one particular obscure video game that's been lost to time, you can find them. The point is, any particular thing that you want to learn or need help on, want to discuss, can be done 100% virtually on your own time. I was able to find other experts and aficionados in different areas that interested me. As a team, we've been able to point each other to resources, collaborate, and create a lot of interesting things. For example, my international team of a Polish Australian and I were able to create an online musical extension pack for a popular video game. There are some challenges with time zones, but the point is, is that we actually did it. And in the process, we learned a lot of valuable skills. This is how I envision the future will be. A team of individuals working across time zones through the internet to collaborate and bring forth great ideas. This is not something that's getting public school. However, that's not to say that homeschooling is perfect for everybody. For me, there are some small caveats here and there. Since school had trained me to care only about grades and not necessarily about my own learning, it became difficult to focus or do well with those grades taken away. Let's put this in a much simpler way. If a horse is trained to move with the carrot is dangling in front of it, and only if that carrot is there, what will happen if the carrot is taken away? Most likely, that same horse will be reluctant to move. Homeschooling requires a massive amount of self-discipline. You may be an intuitive kid like I am, and be propelled by your own curiosity rather than prodded along with grades. In order for homeschooling to work, though, there needs to be some level of accountability, whether it be through peers, through mentors, or through grades even. People often say that they're willing to do something, but then they don't accomplish it. People are more than capable of whiling away several hours doing meaningless activities, so there needs to be a strict goal set in mind, and someone or something to make sure you go through with it. It's that type of accountability that makes dreams become reality. I'll be honest here. A lot of things about homeschooling were great, but hey, I'm, I'm a teenager, and it turns out I do need that carrot. And I need a little bit of structure. So my family and I had lots of discussions, trying to think of ways to make public school work without being stuck back into that robot-like existence of worksheets, tests, forget, repeat. So we asked ourselves, what if we could take the best aspects of homeschooling and applying them to the structure of public school? So this is what we came up with, personalized education. Personalized education takes the time and learning principles of homeschool and connects them with the framework and stressles and structure of public school. I am back at public school now so I can have my care on my basic core classes, such as math, language arts, social studies, and science, with one fine arts class in Spanish thrown in for good measure. Along with this, I take private PE, so I'm able to leave school earlier and train with my rowing club. Many kids will be upset at the thought that we may not have any electives, but that is where our principles of homeschooling take effect. As mentioned before, with the help of the internet, you have access to any elective you could possibly want. And you are not limited by the few offerings at your school. If you want to explore career opportunities, want to learn something new, or just want someone to talk to about a new idea, there's literally a whole world of possibilities opened up to you. With this added time, I'm able to create videos, draw, animate, seek help from online mentors, and any activity that I can conceive. You may not be particularly attuned to these types of activities, but the point is, is that you have the option and the time to figure out what you want to do. Once you decide to create your own electives or more in-depth study of your core classes, you may have to do some work to get the time you need to pursue them. But as long as you have an internet connection, a phone, and a little initiative, there's no reason any kid can't do this, regardless of schedule. This is the point that I'm trying to make here. Homeschooling is obviously a great way to learn. It truly is. But many people just don't have the option. Or maybe it didn't work out for you. By combining some of the best aspects of most important ideas from homeschool and applying them to public school, there's both structure and substance, along with the time and learning benefits from homeschooling. So take charge of your education. You decide what you want to know. Most careers that will be available to this generation don't even exist yet. The world is shifting, and so should the way you prepare to go into that world. So I ask you to consider this. Could made-to-order education be the right path for you? Thank you.